All right, so I got uh, I got my driver installed. It's just a Chinese driver board, which works uh, fairly well. It's a four-axis driver board. Um, it's only running a 24-volt, 15-amp uh, power supply right underneath. Um, I got it. I got it set up about uh, 90 inches per minute, and I think the feed rate's at. Uh, I think it's all 90. I think this is about 80. And um, jogging speed is 100%. I think, or no, half. I think it's 50% on the jogging speed. Um, I got my uh, Xbox controller. It's jogging at half the speed. Then. Uh, Go ahead and send it home. And I got a little test job in here, so um, like I said, I think it's around, I think it's going to run this about 70 IPM. really smooth just running some drill path tool pass right now and it's going to do some pockets and then just a cut out profile Doing some circle pockets right now. I'm going to be using a. Uh, I changed my mind on the spindle. The router I'm going to use is a. Uh, a Bosch, sixteen seventeen. I think I'm going to go with. And then I'm going to buy the uh, Super PID for the RPM control. That's it. Stop it. I'll send it home one handed here. Now, I could run a lot faster, I think, if I had bigger motors, but right now all I have on here is 275 ounce motors. And uh, I think they're rated max at 3 amps or something. And then the power supply, I'm only using a 24 volt, 15 amp uh, power supply. So. If I put my 425s in there from that machine, I'll get a lot, lot more speed out of this, um, just in my rapids and everything else. So, but other than that, I just got to finish my wiring, get it all tucked away, and I'm um, ready to go. So that's the. Uh, well, here I start the driver again. Let's see the lights go on when the driver gets activated. With this control box, you can uh, you can have a lot of different options like serial controllers and spindle control and all that stuff. You can see the axis lights going up. So that's it. Um, I got all my electronics done.